Hello, hello, hello. Hi everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel Cornerstring in the second episode of Data Cleaning in Python. Let's start this video with one very simple question and here it is. Have you ever come across the situation in your project or processes where you have multiple Excel files and ask was to consolidate them all into one unified master Excel sheet? If your answer is yes to this question, stay with me and watch this video till the end to know the automatic solution using Python code by completely eliminating the manual process. All right, so for this video's demonstration, I have created one multiple files folder and in this multiple files folder, I have total 12 files. Let me open the file number one to show you that actually what it contains. So we have the employee name, month and the four reason East, West, South, North. So this table actually it gives us the information that Peter Kevin for the month of January XYG sales amount has been generated and so and so forth. Right. And we can see that total six number of the columns are there and these are the data types. Right. OK, let me close it and open another random one. Uh, let's open the file number seven. OK, in the file seven, again, we have the different employee name Helms and uh, it shows us the similar kind of the information, six number of columns and similar data types. Right. Uh, let's let, let's close it. Now, here's the ask is that if you have X number of files within some within any of the folder and you would like to consolidate it together to make the one Excel master Excel file, how you will be able to do that. So we will use to, uh, today the Python code in PyCharm right to consolidate this together and create one master excel file so for that let me jump onto the pycharm and start writing up the code okay so for that first of all i need to create the python file let's uh, name it as episode 2 okay uh, step number 1 step number 1 will be to import the required python libraries very simple right so we need to import the required python libraries first of all so for this project i'm going to use two libraries import pandas as pd and import globe right globe so guys globe is the short for global right you do not have to install it very differently because this comes by default with the python standard library package right and this globe actually will help the python in understanding that okay go to this particular folder and provide us the file path right so for this project we are specifically using the excel files so dot xlx is the extension right so we will specifically use this with the help of the globe to get the files right uh, you will understand it just uh, wait for another two uh, two minutes and we will use it in the code import globe now here the step two step two will be to provide the path provide provide the path where the excel file resides okay so path is a variable and then i'm going back to here and just copying the path and again coming back to pycharm and writing it up here adding here are a string little or the raw string just to avoid the unicode escape error okay uh, the next thing is that i'm defining here the folder so go to this folder now here the globe will come into the picture so globe dot globe and this path which path this one the multiple files folder plus dot xlsx right now i'm adding here the wildcard this one so there could be the scenario that in this particular folder multiple files folder you can have the PDF as well, or maybe the uh, maybe the Word file as well, or maybe other uh, format available as well, right? But we are specifically interested for this project in XLX files only to consolidate, right? So that's the reason I'm using here. Go to this particular folder and whatever those files which contains the .xlx as an extension, please pass it to our program. So that's the reason I have used here the globe. Okay. Now. Uh, we do have to define another thing that is the list so i'm um, just passing here the empty list or using or utilizing the empty list the blank list in order to append so whatever the information in file one okay whatever the information in file two append it after file one append it after file two append it after file three so that's the reason i'm going to utilize the functionality of the list here 
now step 3 is very simple use the loop so for this we are going to use the for loop uh, but before that let me make it a comment so for files in folder for files in folder all right now excel list will come into the picture so uh, sorry we have used the list word here right so list dot append what to append so pandas will read the excel file so we have the excel file so that's the reason pd dot read underscore excel but if you are having the csv file pd dot read underscore csv right and then use the files here okay now list dot append we need to store this information somewhere so for that i'm going to pass it to the df so pd pandas dot concat so guys pd dot concat this is very important for this project the whole video is centered around this one right so we cannot do anything without this so pd dot concat is the key for this project that is going to help us pd dot concat now what to concat concat this list right now this list and we do not want the index values so ignore index is equal to two right so pd dot concat list and ignore index is equal to true that we do not want the index positioning number we want just the flat values okay now the last step for this particular code will be to store back this information into the excel file into the master file okay so for that what i can do let's use this df to pass this df to excel and let's say that our file name is a uh, master file the end file ending with the dot xlx and here the index is equal to false all right let's qc the code properly before running it so we have defined uh, we have imported the library pandas and flow and step two we have not commented it okay now it's commented okay path is equal to this one folder is equal to this one and then we have used the list and then we have used the loop for loop so for files in folder this one this one this one and we are good with the qc so that's the line of the code guys with these particular like seven to eight lines of the code you are consolidating the n number of files together let's test it out run episode two here we go So process finished with exit code zero. Uh, let's see for the final result. So here is the master file dot xlx. Let's open it. Perfect, perfect. So guys, you can see now all those twelve files have been consolidated, right? So total in totality now we have one forty four records and Peter Kevin each and every employee information is now consolidated so guys that's the beauty of you know python that's the beauty of the pandas here pd.concat so i hope you have found this video informative right so you can support me and my channel in four ways by pressing the like button by sharing it with your friends and by subscribing to my youtube channel and by just typing your comment uh, that this is a great video so I see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Happy learning.